In a world that's constantly changing, you have to move forward to change with it. At Strayer University, we see you striving to work harder and go further. That's why we provide you with the tools you need to get there, like offering a brand new laptop when you enroll in a bachelor's program, so you can do your coursework anytime, anywhere. Because our greatest strength is helping you unlock yours, so you can always keep striving. Visit strayer.edu to learn more. Eligibility rules, restrictions, and exclusions apply. Connect with us for details. In a fast-paced world, every day brings new challenges and new opportunities. At Strayer University, we know a thing or two about getting and staying ahead of change. For over 130 years, we've been providing students like you with innovative tools, customized support, and an education built to empower you. So you can find your way forward and always keep striving. Visit strayer.edu to learn more. Welcome to the Having It All podcast, the show about what it takes to live an abundant, loving life. My name is Matthew Bivens, and I want to help you live with more clarity, confidence, and purpose so you can truly have it all. Let's do it. What's going on, my awesome friend? Welcome back to the podcast. My name is Matthew Bivens, your balanced lifestyle coach. And if this is your first time hanging out with me on this podcast or if you are a returning listener, I just want to say thank you. First and foremost, thank you so much for investing this time. I truly appreciate it, and I love that you're here. If you ever want to get in touch with me directly, you can email me at matthew at matthewbibbins.com. And if you have a moment, I would appreciate if you hit that subscribe button on whatever, whatever podcast player you're listening to this episode on right now. Today's episode is all about self-worth. And I want to share with you a very clear process, the three steps towards experiencing higher self-worth. Now, self-worth is one of those things that you can Google it and you can see so much content has been created about self-worth and having high self-esteem. And a lot of the challenges that you might be experiencing can be traced back to low self-worth. Because when your self-worth is low, What ends up happening is you turn to others for your validation. You turn to others to feel likable, lovable, to feel accepted, to feel like you matter in the world. And that is a very, very risky thing to do because essentially what you're doing is you're putting your power in their hands. And if you want to feel like you matter, then they have to do or say something in particular. You are creating a situation where you are no longer in charge of your own feelings. You're putting it in somebody else's hands. We call this codependency because you have now become dependent on that other person to provide that very fundamental thing for you. The truth is nobody can make you feel more worthy. Nobody can increase your self-worth. It is an inside job and it always has been. And that is the, the, the big lie about codependency is because we really do think that other people can provide us with a sense of security, a sense of guidance, a sense of wisdom, a sense of power, a sense of belonging. But they never can because if deep down within your heart you don't feel those things for yourself, then it doesn't matter what they say. You're still not going to feel it. So this ends up being the greatest source of challenge with the clients that I work with. They have all these things going on in their life, and when you trace those threads back, it comes down to low self-worth, low self-esteem. And so in my work, what I help people to do is to build that self-esteem, build up your self-worth, which you absolutely can do. But once again, no one can do it for you. You have to do it for yourself. Now, there is a process, a three-step process, and I will not take credit for creating this. This is a tool of the Your Day Balance game and an invention of my coach and my mentor, De Adioba. He put together this grid that really outlines a very, very simple process for creating higher self-worth. And myself, along with all the other coaches in the Your Day Balance game, this is what we teach. And so I've seen this work over and over and over and over. And if you were to go and look at some of the 
great books or podcasts or YouTube videos on building self-worth, I can guarantee you that if they are effective, they are following this really simple process. Now, before I share the process, I just wanna let you know if you're at all interested in learning more about Your Day Balance Game and the programs that we have to help people heal and overcome codependency, then please check out the links in the show notes, the links in the description. And there's a video that I link out to. You can watch that because we have something truly incredible going on at the YDBG. And YDBG, by the way, stands for Your Day Balance Game. And what we focus on is helping people to heal and overcome codependency. Because when people are codependent, three things tend to happen. Burnout, insecurity, and depression. And so we have created a way to utilize health and fitness to really help to heal and overcome codependency and its symptoms. So again, if that's something that sounds interesting to you, go check out the links in my show notes. And you can also always shoot me an email at matthew, matthewbivens.com and I can answer any questions that you have. Our biggest bath event of the year has arrived online at the Home Depot. Right now, get up to 40% off select bath online, plus free delivery on our wide selection of on-trend faucets. Find the look that fits your style from top brands like Glacier Bay. There's never been a better time to create your perfect bathroom with online savings from the Home Depot. Make your bathroom upgrade a reality today with our lowest bath prices of the year at homedepot.com. How doers get more done. All right, so these are the steps to experiencing greater self-worth. First, you must exercise consistency. By exercising consistency, you build self-trust. And when you build self-trust, you experience greater self-worth. So it goes consistency, self-trust, self-worth. Now let me break that down further. So consistency is one of the most challenging things for people just period, being consistent. And the consistency that I'm talking about here is consistency with taking care of yourself. It's the consistency of your self-care. It's the consistency of what we call deposits, making a deposit into your own emotional bank account. So think of that financial bank account that you have. And if you made a deposit, every single day for 10 years, over the course of that time, your wealth goes up, doesn't it? The value that's in that account goes up. And it's not because you made a bunch of huge deposits all at once, it's because consistently, little by little, you made those deposits. And then over the course of time, the value has gone up an extraordinary amount. The same idea applies to you and I, to us as individuals. You want to be thinking about you as this emotional bank account. And every time that you're doing something healthy and empowering for yourself, you're making a small deposit into that account. Every time that you do something that is unhealthy for yourself or every time that you break an agreement that you make to yourself, that's a withdrawal. So when I'm talking about exercising consistency, it's consistency in making deposits consistency in doing the small, everyday, healthy things that you know to do for yourself. So that could look like every morning you wake up and you say one affirmation in the mirror. It could look like spending 10 minutes in the middle of your day to decompress from all the busyness of your work and your life. It could look like making sure that you're drinking enough water or making sure that you're eating enough green vegetables or salads. It could look like spending five minutes every evening in meditation or giving yourself 20 minutes to take a bath and decompress at the end of the day. The idea is if you exercise consistency, then over time, what happens is you build self-trust. And the reason that happens is because in order to be consistent with making deposits into yourself, you have to say no to all the things outside of you that are vying for your attention. You have to say no, not now, to your kids that want you in the moment, to your spouse that wants you in the moment, to your phone ringing off the hook because your boss is calling you, telling you to put out all these fires. 
you have to start saying no to those things, even just for a brief period of time, so you can say yes to yourself. When you do that, you're keeping an agreement that you've made to yourself to do something healthy for yourself, to make a deposit for yourself. And whenever you keep your agreements with yourself, your trust goes up. Just think about that like in any other relationship, right? If a person makes an agreement or makes a promise and keeps it, then you trust them more. But if that person makes a promise and then breaks it, you don't trust them anymore. So it's the same with self-care, taking care of yourself and doing healthy things. You make a small promise to yourself to wake up and go for a 10-minute walk before work. Well, then guess what? You need to keep it and keep it consistently. And if you can keep those promises consistently, then your trust goes up. That's the only way to build trust with yourself is to keep the agreements that you make to yourself. And then the third part of the process is if you are building that consistency, right, and your trust is going up, then eventually you will start to experience higher self-worth. Because when you say, I made an agreement to me, and because I am important, I'm going to keep that agreement, even if it's uncomfortable and inconvenient. When you do that, then what you're saying is, I am worthy. I am worthy of getting uncomfortable for. I am worthy of doing something that is inconvenient. I am worthy, so I keep my promises. Again, think back to the other relationships in your life. If you have kids, you would get uncomfortable and do something that's inconvenient to keep a promise you make to your kids, right? Or to your best friend. Or to your sibling. And you do that because deep down you feel they are worthy. They are worthy and, and you are willing to get uncomfortable for them. But do you do the same thing for yourself? Most people do not because they don't feel worthy. So they will not get uncomfortable to keep an agreement they make to themselves. They will not inconvenience themselves to keep an agreement that they've made. They'll just say, eh, it's not that big of a deal. Eh, it doesn't really matter. I just, I'll do it tomorrow. And if you do that over and over and over, you tell me, do you feel like your trust goes up or down? It most certainly goes down. And so you are not exercising consistency in keeping agreements to yourself. Therefore, your trust is going down. Therefore, it becomes easier for you to make an excuse to break an agreement you make to yourself because ultimately you don't feel worthy. So you see how this swings both ways. And unfortunately, a lot of people have been swinging in that direction you don't want to go in. And they have been reinforcing their low self-worth because they aren't consistent and they keep making withdrawals from their emotional bank account. They haven't made enough deposits. So what you want to be doing is exercising consistency so that you build self-trust and you experience higher self-worth. Now, what is it that you want to be consistent with? Well, you might already have some sort of plan in mind. You might already have some sort of you know, eating regimen you want to follow or exercise regimen you want to follow or just some simple habits that you've been telling yourself you want to be doing on a daily basis. If you do, great. Do it. Now is the time to be consistent with those things you've been telling yourself you're going to be consistent with. Discover new opportunities together in a new Chevy. Meet up in an Equinox, winner of the J.D. Power Award for initial quality among compact SUVs. Lend a hand in the strong and capable Silverado, or mix it up in a high-tech Trax with an available 11-inch diagonal touchscreen. Find family, friends, and fun in the Chevy that's right for you. Click to learn more. Chevrolet, together let's drive. For J.D. Power 2023 U.S. Initial Quality Study Award information, visit jdpower.com awards. If you don't have that in place, then you got to start somewhere. You got to start by figuring out what are a couple things that you think, if you did them consistently on a daily basis, it's going to lead to an improvement in your life, physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Come up with a couple. Don't try to bite off a whole bunch of things at once. 
You might, you might even just want to start off with one. It could look like making your bed first thing in the morning. That's it. And then once you've been consistent with that for several weeks, then you add a second one. I make my bed and I make sure I drink 20 ounces of water in the day. And then slowly you start stacking more and more habits. But the idea right now is to get very clear on what those habits are that you want to be consistent with. Because when you are clear on them and you know what they are, how frequently you want to do them, that's like making an agreement with yourself. And you're saying, okay, my agreement is I'm going to make my bed every single morning before I leave for work. Okay, that's your agreement. So now you want to exercise consistency with keeping that agreement. Because if you were to do that for five days in a row, you now have a higher sense of self-trust. Like, wow, I did it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was just making my bed. But you know what? That was something that I wasn't doing before. And I'm feeling pretty inspired by myself. At that moment, your trust has gone up. You've remembered to do the thing. You've taken out time that you probably would have spent doing something for someone else but you took out that time to make sure you were consistent with the thing that you're doing for you. And that means your trust goes up. And if you keep that up for long enough, you start to experience higher self-worth. And when your self-worth is high, then you don't need to go to all these other people for your sense of security, guidance, wisdom, power, love, validation. You say, you know what, I get that from me. You start feeling a little bit more confident in yourself. So my friends, that's the process. And by now, I really hope that you can see where in this process you have been falling short. Maybe it's with the consistency. Maybe it's with making deposits in your trust account versus withdrawals. Wherever it is, you want to now understand that there is a very clear, very simple process to experience higher self-worth. And it starts with exercising consistency. So I'm excited for you because I know that in my life, when things become more clear, then it's a lot easier for me to take action. When things are ambiguous, it gives you room to get up in your head. Then you can start making excuses and justify different things. But when there's clarity, now you just go and act. And so my intention is that you now have more clarity. And from that space, you get into action because that's the only way you're going to create a new result in your life. It's the only way you're going to have a different experience is by acting, getting into action. This podcast is all about proactivity. It's all about taking action and being consistent with it. So that's very fitting for what we're talking about here today. If you have any questions about this process, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. And if you want to know more about the programs with the Your Day Balance Game, if you want to know more about the 2D Independence Program, which is our flagship program to address codependency, then shoot me an email at matthew at matthewbivens.com, or you can go and check out the links in the show notes and watch the video, and from there you can learn all the information you need to know. I absolutely highly recommend that if you are experiencing codependency, or any of the symptoms, insecurity, depression, burnout, I highly recommend you check out what Your Day Balance Game has, because I have never seen anything like it. And I've checked out a lot of different programs, I've done a lot of different things, but I've never seen anything like what we're up to right now. And the results that people are seeing are absolutely transformational. They truly are. So with that, I want to say thank you so much for hanging out with me here today. This has been a fun conversation and I'm looking forward to seeing and hearing what you do with it and how you put all of this to use. So I have a lot of appreciation for you and I'm sending you so much love. My name is Matthew Bivens and here is to you having it all. Quick note about the Having It All podcast. I am not a doctor nor a licensed therapist. I'm a man with a story and a passion for conscious conversation. My thoughts, opinions, and beliefs are my own. So please consult with your doctor or healthcare provider regarding any questions or issues you have 
related to your personal physical or mental health. In a world that's constantly changing, you have to move forward to change with it. At Strayer University, we see you striving to work harder and go further. That's why we provide you with the tools you need to get there, like offering a brand new laptop when you enroll in a bachelor's program, so you can do your coursework anytime, anywhere. Because our greatest strength is helping you unlock yours, so you can always keep striving. Visit strayer.edu to learn more. Eligibility rules, restrictions, and exclusions apply. Connect with us for details.